Smolinski is a character, and he yeah. could be a spoiler here. He, he won't be frightened. The leg will be back in the first corner. He'll be got the front wheel will be over the curve. He's ready. Look how keen he is. Loving it. 39 years of age now, Martin. He's been around. Star oh, Marshall once again just been a bit fussy. A millimetre more, please. Here, oh dear. Here we go then. Heat number 13. Green lights on. Long pause. Leon Madsen's made a lovely start. Out of gate number two, but it's tight going there. Was next on the outside. Look at Martin Smolinski. He's up the inside. He's involved, but he's got swallowed up. Coming out of turn number two on the opening lap. Madsen on his spare bike. He's fired himself to the front. Exactly what he needed. Was now responding beautifully, coming through into second place. Martin Vassily out gate number three is struggling at the back foot with Leon oh, Madsen. Was near. Oh, Simon was near. That bike just hooked up and just flew down the back straight. Brilliant stuff. Great uh, right there from Simon Wozniak. Now Leon Madsen making chase, looking for a way up the inside. You can see his roll-offs there dangling behind him. That will be putting him oh! on some speed. Here we go Coming. again. Wozniak under immense pressure now. Wozniak there very nearly passed by Leo Madsen. Madsen with the roll off streaming behind him. Fantastic Stunning. season. Madsen stunned him. What a stunning ride from Leo Madsen. Wozniak hasn't thrown the towel in. He's roaring around the outside. Once again, we're witnessing, witnessing stunning speedway here in Landshut this evening. Martin Vasilik in third place. But that is some ride from Leo Madsen. Bitterly disappointed last time with the bike giving up. Goggles have packed up as well. We don't care about that. And uh, the race between Simon Wozniak and Leon Madsen, well, it just doesn't get better than that. It really doesn't. That was stunning Speedway once again. Speedway, I dare say, from the top draw. Leon Madsen, three points for him out in front. Simon Wozniak back in second place, two points. Vasilik getting the better of Smolinski later on, one point for him. And Martin, after a good first corner, fails to score. But for Leon Madsen, well, you've got to give him that one. He, uh, he rode terrifically well there. Yeah, he battled extremely hard. How big is your top draw, Kelvin? Because the way the Grand Prix Series is going this year, there's going to be plenty of races in it. Well, I've had to expand it. I've had to, I've had to order a new chest of drawers. <laughs> but here we go. Wozniak trying to generate the speed out in the dirt. It looks to uh, run right around the outside, having come off gate four. Leon Madsen... A little bit of a surprise to me there. He couldn't make his mind up. He rode right around the middle of the track, but it seemed to work for him at that point. Then Wozniak, look at that. Beautifully timed cutback up the inside, clean as you like. Gets past Leon Madsen, who, of course, then doesn't throw the towel in. He's on his second bike, as we know, but it seems to be working reasonably well as he darts up the inside now, creeps around the curve, then moves across. Makes uh, Simon Wozniak think twice there. Wozniak just gets his nose in front and then uh, has to run across the corner. That leaves a big hole there for Leon Madsen, <laughs> who gives him a little bit of a cheeky look back. <laughs> what do you think you're up to? Brilliant stuff. And uh, thoroughly entertaining. I do hope you're in, uh, enjoying it at home as well. But for Leon Madsen, fairly subdued when he was interviewed earlier on by Abby, but um, going along nicely now. Got gate two to come in his final one, but eight points, he's nearly there. Heat number 14. Go, settling down. Tough one to call this, heat number 14. Top quality right across the grid, no doubt about that. Green lights off, takes up, we're underway. Into the first corner, it's Lander. Alongside is Bartos Smarslik. Nice move up the inside from Bewley, but Smarslik responds. Round the outside, keep your Nicholson. eyes on Mickelson. Oh, just did, had the speed, but didn't have the room. That allowed Smarslik then to clamp the door shut. Oh, yeah, Mickelson's on it. That bounce of Smarslik, but Mickelson round the outside. Stunning move from the Danish man. Out in front, Robert Lambert. Here comes Smarslik once again on the inside, tight down the back straight. Uh, Mickelson just saying how much speed he's got. Of course, we know Robert Lambert can win races. Surprisingly, Dan Bewley at the back, but Mickelson. Oh, oh here comes Bewley. Dan Bewley now up the inside. Bewley nearly getting in the third place. Smarslik having to work very hard. Here comes Mickelson down the back straight. There's a lap and a half to go. Minko Mickelson's in the mood tonight. Running wide in turns three and four. Lambert hanging on out in front. This race is not over. Robert Lambert having to ride out of his skin here because Mickelson's fired up. Great corner there from Lambert. He's got a bit of breathing space now. One last blast. Smarslick's had to hang on here in third place. Lambert wins his first race of the night. Just what he needed. He had five points, he's on to eight with a race win.
very important moment, and what a race to win. What a lineup, and Robert Lambert off the inside gate comes out on top. Mickelson with a stunning ride in second place. And that man who was third seven days ago picks up a very handy win indeed in heat number 14. Three points for Lambert, two points for Mikon Mickelson going along nicely. Bartosz Smarslik, one point in third place, and Dan Bewley misses out in heat 14. Somebody had to finish there. Such a tough race, but for that man, he'll be chuffed a bit that he's won that one. Yeah, Smarsic actually drops the clutch first, makes the best jump, but Robert Lambert on the inside just works the bike to the corner, runs right around the inside. And we can see Mickelson here. Look at that, he's got so much speed, but then there's a traffic jam in front of him and he has to put the brakes on and uh, run straight across the back of everybody. He knows what he wants to do, he knows where he wants to ride. Look at that right foot out of the foot peg, running around the dirt there, bike working beautifully, lots of speed and gets past Smarzik, cracking ride from him. Yeah. But uh, Smarzik is coming under pressure from everywhere in every race. Yeah, he had eight points before this race, but here he had to work awfully hard just for one, with Bewley very nearly relegating him to the back, two-thirds of the way through the heat. Great racing out in front, Robert Lambert having to hang tough here because Mickelson was coming on so strong. But uh, fair play to Lambert. He did the business and pulled away on the final lap and wins his first race of the evening with one race to come off the gate number two.